recording, bro. I'm recording. You know why? Because I just said something funny. I said you were the juggler, right? Uh, this is crazy Bob Cook. Everybody knows him. And if you don't, you should. Um, but I just called him the juggler because I was looking at the board they have here. And I'll show you the board. I got a clip of it. Fight board. Uh, your fight board. Explain your fight board to me, please. Uh, it's just got the uh, scheduled fighters that we have the dates for, so you can just kind of. Because we've got so many guys, it's easy to forget who's fighting when, so it just kind of keeps it fresh on the mind, and then we prioritize on uh, who's got the closest fight. Well, I was just looking at the board, and, and like I said, I'll show the clip of the board. But It's freaking packed, man. It's pretty full right now. And there's probably some people on there that are not on there yet that need to be on there. It's a packed board, and um, everyone's in the house. It's a great house, AKA, supporting each other, champions, training with champions. And you're the juggler, bro. You're juggling these guys uh, masterfully, bro, like with one hand. Here's one of them. What's oh, up, man? Zombie. I see you on the board. I see you on the board. I see you on the board. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, man. HD Yes, sir. Mike Kyle, what's up? That was Mike Kyle. One of uh, a few you're juggling. Uh, how's, how's he doing? How's he feeling? Uh, you know, he's uh, got a few challenges. Been been trying to train around some injuries. Okay. Uh, just trying to get him to the fight healthy so he can uh, get him in the ring. That's the key. Okay, so he's the uh, 10th of uh, September. Yep. And then uh, you got a lot of fighters on that yeah, card. Uh, Josh Thompson's on that card. Luke Rockhold's on that card. Daniel Cormier's on that card. on that card. There's five of them. I don't know if I'm forgetting anybody. but Five of them. And they're all from the same camp, uh, yeah. American Kickboxing Academy. And we almost had Justin Wilcox on that card, which would have made six. Yeah. And then uh, it's a stacked card because there's some belts uh, up. The uh, Luke is up for a belt. Right? Yep. That'll be nice. Yep. And, you know, it's part of the tournament, so it's a big deal for Daniel. You know, his first time fighting a top 10 fighter in the world. DC. Um, yep. DC versus DC the, the Bigfoot. So, you know, he gets by Bigfoot, you know, he'll be, uh, he'll be fighting for the Grand Prix, you know, for the final. And, uh... Potentially, who knows at that time? Might who, if it's the no, I'm putting that together or whatever. But yeah, I'm putting that together. I was there when they announced all the uh, heavyweights, and so I've got some really good clips of the heavyweights. Um, I'm gonna pull a little bit together. And Daniel was not in that uh, original lineup. Yeah, he was an alternate. So, but uh, you know the way the universe aligns, he's now in the lineup. And I'm telling you, you win that uh, Grand Prix, you are the man. There's no joke about that. Yeah, no, you're definitely the man on that one. It's it's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Coker and I talked about it, and I told him, I said, you put that uh, heavyweight tournament together, that's a big deal. Talk about heavyweights, we've got uh, Kane in the house. <laughs> Fighting in San Jose. That's a big card. Yeah, no, I, I think uh, 
we're, we're gonna we're gonna get a hell of a turnout here locally for uh, Kane to you know show out you know local local hometown hero um, heavyweight world champion fighting in this hometown UFC in San Jose yep first That's time good, yeah. ever UFC in San Jose so I, I, I think it's gonna be uh, incredible night friggin night. that building will be packed packed um, I'm excited. They, they're thinking about even Kung Lee uh, possibly on the card. There's been stuff on the internet. That would be exciting. Um, so who else we've got? We've got uh, Baroni fighting. Yeah, Baroni's going to Singapore here in another week or so or two or somewhere in there. For Mark, sure. Yeah, Mark Ellis is uh, fighting next week in Hawaii. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's a big card because um, I think it's a, another organization that's come, you know, come back alive and seems like they want to do uh, big fights. Yeah, hopefully, you know, hopefully they are able to uh, keep it together this time and keep it moving forward. And, you know, the first time around, you know, they, they made some major stars and made a lot of progress. So hopefully they can uh, take, take, you know, pick it up where they left off and uh, get things really moving in a positive direction. Well, I think you guys are going to help contribute to that because uh, Mark is no joke because who's he sparring with? He's sparring with the best in the world, Cain Velasquez. And, uh, Mark doesn't have a choice to get tough. He's got DC and Kane every day. Yeah, and so <laughs> I think he's going to be uh, pounding on the door. I think when we see him in Hawaii, he's going to show the world why American Kickboxing Academy uh, has champions and they uh, juggle them uh, very well, the juggler here. Um, who else we've got? So we got Baroni on the 3rd of September in uh, Asia. For yeah, we've got the other five guys. And one other FC. That, I, I can't think outside of that at the moment. That's, well, why, that's why we have the board. That's why I you're the man, though, bro. Honestly, man, I just wanted to give you tribute to uh, how well you guys are doing here and what you guys are doing. This is a very busy time for you guys uh, during this next month here. So, uh, we were a little slow there for a while because we had a lot of injuries, but uh, we're going to have a busy end of the year. No, for sure, man. And uh, with UFC in San Jose, that would be phenomenal yep, with Kane. Yep. Thanks for your time, Mr. Juggler. We'll do. Take care. We'll see you. Right. Choke, Choke out, out. Choke, 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 Choke,